Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX East 2014 is brought to you by Intel and Corsair. All right, guys, so Intel QuickSync with OBS, what does this mean? It allows you to use the GPU part of your CPU on Intel to encode things. So instead of using a .h.264 encoder or whatever else you're using to do all of your encoding, you're able to move that off of the CPU part of your CPU and onto the GPU, which would otherwise be doing nothing if you have a dedicated graphics card in your system. This is great because it's allowing you to squeeze more performance out of your computer that you otherwise would not be able to do. My other favorite thing, other than just the performance in increases of this is the fact that anyone with an Intel processor that has QuickSync right now is able to use this. This isn't like a future thing that only people that buy future CPUs are going to be able to get. This is anyone that has a processor that can run QuickSync. It's a nice value add for those of you that already own the product and I really like seeing companies do that. Now the setup for this is quite easy. All you have to do is go in and change a radio button in your OBS settings from whatever you have using the encoder right now over to QuickSync and you're done. Wham bam, that's it. You get a huge performance increase and that's absolutely fantastic. If you like this video and you want to see all the rest of our videos, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. As always, thank you for watching this video. And just so you guys know, if you at tag Linus Tech on Twitter and tell them what inspires you about PAX East, you can be put into a contest to win a two-in-one Tai Chi from ASUS. And if you go to Newegg.com right now, you can see a bunch of different deals from Intel on some Gigabyte products and some ASUS products as well. So thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.